Hello, this is Stephanie, your CSA coach, and this is week 23A of our CSA shares. Um, we have this week, this is the last week for any A share folks, and then we have one more week next week. <clears throat> so if you're B share, your last week will be next week. If you're a full share, your last week will be next week. And if you are an, you are an A share, this is your last week. Lots of goodies we received in the shares this week. Before we do that, um, CSA early bird registration, all of the information has gone out via email. It is open so you can sign up for your share um, plus any of the add-ons and some of the add-ons are very limited so make sure you sign up early in order to get what you're looking for. Um, but all details for that are in email and that early bird registration ends October 31st. Okay, jumping right into what we have for this week. We have yellow onions. Yellow onions are stored in a cool, dry place away from our potatoes. Onions can be eaten raw, they can be roasted, they can be used in stir fries, they can be grilled. Um, great soup season. So um, the farm today had bulk yellow onions and bulk red onions. So you could pick up a bag and make an onion soup with those, but cool, dry place. We received winter radishes. So a variety of winter radishes. These get stored in the fridge. These will last a while. That's why they're called winter radishes. They're harvested in the fall, but they last throughout the winter. This is our daikon. This is watermelon, black, and then purple daikon. All of them can be eaten raw, so slice them thin, throw them on some salad. Um, or just eat them with like a little bit of sea salt as a snack. Um, they can be roasted, really good roasted. So you could do this whole variety, chop them up, roast them. You do not have to peel them, just scrub them. Um, you can peel them if you want. You can also pickle them. So they're really good pickled. Sorry, we have so much variety. I have to move this stuff off the table. We received butternut squash. So butternut squash, you do not need to worry about using anytime soon. This will last. Stored in a cool, dry, dark place. Um, it is great roasted. It's great if you roast it and then um, puree it. And then you can use that for a variety of different items. You could serve it just like that. Or you can um, puree it and use it in different recipes. I like to just slice it in half, scoop out the seeds and roast it that way, but you can slice it into rounds, slice it into cubes. You can also freeze it. So you can roast it and freeze it as a puree, or you can chop it up and freeze it as cubes if you wanna preserve it. But that will last a while. Also a great squash soup. You could make a squash soup out of that. We received carrots. So very first thing you wanna do is take off the tops. The tops are edible. Um, if you're not gonna eat them, save them, throw them in your veggie scrap bag. Um, they're a great enhancement for veggie broth. You can do like a chimichurri, you can dry them and use them as a garnish. You can use them as a garnish just like they are. You can add them to salads um, or you can throw them in soups and stews. So they're gonna be stored separately. So chop them off and store them in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. The bottoms, chop those off and store them in the fridge. Um, they do not need to be peeled, just scrub them down to get the dirt off of them if there's any dirt still on them. You can roast them, you can eat them raw, you can throw them into soups, you can throw them into stir fries. Um, really good, so carrots. We received beets. So these are golden beets, same thing as the carrots. We're gonna chop off the tops. The tops can be used just like any other greens. Um, so saute them, use them raw, um, throw them into veggie broth, throw them into green cubes, chop them off and put them in a separate Ziploc bag in the fridge or a separate plastic bag in the fridge. Bottoms get stored in a plastic bag in the fridge and these will last a little bit longer than the greens will. You can roast them, you can eat them raw, you can boil them and you can pickle them. I know there's two pickled beet recipes on the blog. Head lettuce. Head lettuce gets stored just as is in a plastic bag in the fridge. Um, this is 
probably one of, besides the greens, um, probably one of the first items you're gonna wanna use this week. So plan on making some sort of salad um, over the next few days while it's nice and healthy. Um, wash it up, chop it up, use it in salads, use it for burgers, use it as taco um, toppings, but store just like this. Once you wash it, you wanna keep the moisture away from it, so um, try to put towels around it to, to absorb that moisture. We received broccoli. So broccoli gets stored in the fridge. You can store it in um, a towel or a Ziploc bag or a Debbie Meyer green bag. When you go to use it, soak it in salt water and any hidden critters or anything that's stuck in the florette part will come out. Um, broccoli can get eaten raw, it can be blanched, it can be used in stir fries, it can be roasted. Um, definitely a great addition to soups as well. So we're hitting um, good, good variety of produce that are great for um, soups. So that's our broccoli, that's new this week. We also received potatoes. So potatoes get stored in a cool dry place away from our onions and garlic. Um, these will last, so no worry on using these um, anytime soon. They can be um, cooked on the stovetop. They can be turned into home fries. They can be used in different dishes like our potato crusted quiche. You can make mashed potatoes out of them so you can boil them or you can roast them. We usually just chop them up and roast them um, as like a big side for either dinner or breakfast. So those get stored in a cool, dry place. We received a huge head of broccoli rabe. So this is going to need to go into a, probably a large Debbie Meyer green bag. Um, you can blanch this and it will remove some of the bitterness, but it is a bitter green. Best sauteed. You can eat it raw. Um, I like to saute it with some onion and garlic and serve it as a side. Um, you could also add it to soups. So stored in the fridge in a big bag. Our celery. The celery is really large this week, so again, stored in a, in a huge Debbie Meyer green bag in the fridge. Um, this celery is obviously a lot different than you would receive in the grocery store. It is very tasty, very full of flavor, and every part of it is edible, so don't throw away those leaves. Um, you can use them for soups, you can use them for stews, you can um, use them in a salad. So you could just do a celery salad, but stored in the fridge. Can be eaten raw, can be cooked um, either way. So lots of good stuff for veggie broth as well. Kale, the kale, everything's huge this week. So the kale is really big this week. Again, stored in a Debbie Meyer green bag in the fridge. Um, kale can be eaten raw. You could do like a ma massaged kale salad. You can cook it. Um, so make kale chips or green cubes. Green cubes are great for smoothies. Um, or you could just cook it as a side. So roast it with some onion and garlic and serve it as a side. And that's it. Wow, I was quick this week. Um, that's all of our produce that we received this week. Remember that early bird registration is open for anyone that's registering for next season. Make sure you do that to get your bonuses and the discounted price. And um, we have one more full week of CSA pickup. So this is week 23. We have one more week, which a 24 week CSA. I will see you all again next Tuesday.